Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Report Tutorial Lesson Lab. Um, drop down checkbox. So same as drop down box, drop down checkbox is one of the widget style for data query as well. The only difference between them is that drop down checkbox allows us to select multiple data during the query. Open the Farm Report, click on this shortcut key to create our new template. So first, we're gonna build our DB query dataset using the Apple Demon English this database. So in today's lesson, we will use employee, this data table, as our data set. So as we hit the preview button, you can see everything under the employee data table, such as the employee ID and the employee name. So that's going to be used later for the uh, drop-down checkbox. So next, we're going to use where to lead to a following command for the parameter data set building. So we're going to use uh, employee ID for the parameter. So different from the previous lesson, we always use equal for the leading parameter building, but in today's lesson, we will use in instead of equal for the parameter building. That's because we're going to use drop-down checkbox. So that's the difference. So next, we're going to head down the refresh button to test if we already built the parameter. So right now, it's successfully. So as we're expanding DS1, you can see everything under this uh, employee data table. So, so far, we already created our dataset parameter, which is employee. So next, we're going to design our main body for the report. We're going to drag employee ID, employee name to the corresponding cell, A2 and B2. And also, we're going to drag a couple more data columns to C2 and D2. So, birth date, and also let's choose origin. All right, so these four data is going to be the final data we want to show in our report. So next, we're going to Entering different title for the corresponding data column, we we'll just select employee ID name and also birth date and uh, origin. All right. So next, we're gonna select them all to make a further adjustment for the style. So make it center. Also, let's give it a frame. All right. So one last step, we're gonna select all the title to give it a background color. So by far, already done the setup for the main body. Next, I'm gonna click on this little pencil to move on to the parameter setup page. So on the right hand, we'll have the pre-made parameter employee. So just hit add all. Next, we're gonna click on this little widget to choose our fourth option, drop down checkbox. So move on to the right hand pane. Right now, we're gonna do the data dictionary for the data binding for the drop down checkbox. So for the type, we're going to use a uh, database. So the database is going to be FRDM English since the employee data table is under this database. So go ahead and select the employee data table. So next, I'll move on to the actual and display value setup. So for here, let's do a little trick. So for the actual value, we want to show the employee ID, but the display value, we want to show the corresponding employee name. So in this way, the, during the data query, the actual showing is going to be our corresponding employee name. So one more last step. Go back to the right hand pane. We have to set up for our return value type as string. So string is going to be the most used return value type we're going to use in the future for drop down checkbox set. And also for the separator, we we'll follow this format, single quotation, comma, single quotation. So this is the difference between set up for drop down checkbox and the drop down box. For the drop-down checkbox, we have we always have to set up for the return value type and also for always follow this format. All right, so by that, we already set up for the drop-down checkbox. So let's save it as our new template drop-down checkbox. All right. So by far, we already done everything for the drop-down checkbox setup. So let's go ahead and preview the final result. So as you can see, we have the employee as our parameter. And also the display value is going to be different employee name. And we have the drop-down checkbox section here. You can select one or multiple data for the data query. So let's go ahead and test. So we'll select the Janet. You can see the corresponding information. And let's select more for test. And uh, let's do one more, select all to test everything. So that's going to be the idea for drop-down checkbox. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Gonna see you next time.